Hey, what's happening guys? About a month or so ago, this company here, CT Energy, contacted me and wanted to send me their selection of rechargeable batteries and chargers and whatnot. And I was like, okay, sure, why not? So this is what they've sent me and some of it I find very interesting. Like this is their main charger. It is a smart battery charger uh, model CT05, it looks like. 5 volt, 2 amps. Um, can charge lithium ion batteries, lithium coin batteries, and nickel metal hydride and NICAD batteries. We'll get to that in a minute. They sent me these. These are AAA lithium cell rechargeable batteries and if you look there each one has a uh, a charge port and they send you this little octopus cable here you can plug them in but I have found they are very very difficult to plug in like this would this would make me wonder But that's kind of interesting, and these are, um, interesting. Let's see what they say, have to say here. I'm looking for a capacity on here, okay. 1,000 milliwatt hours. So they have that in uh, the triple A's. <laughs> Come on. I was trying not to open the box like a doll beaver, but it wouldn't cooperate with me. So they have the same thing available in double A. 3,500 milliwatt hours, which is a very interesting way to rate your batteries. Let's see if these plug in any better. A little bit. Might be that those triple A's were just too small to actually get this type of connector in there. Because these do seem to plug in better. We got a, uh, a thingamabob back here, you know, for the charging and whatnot. There we go, they're plugged in. And they light up red. They're supposed to charge rather quickly. Three hours. They also sent me a couple of They're non-lithium style. These are 1,200 milliwatt hour. No, these are lithium too. Okay. Are they all? They're all lithium. That's really kind of strange. I thought this one was very unique here. We've got the LIR 2032, which I find incredibly useful. I go through a lot. 2032 batteries and this charger has slots for them so I'm gonna check that out did I get everything yes we have this charger here yeah I'm not sure where my little blade is have to use my EDC knife So this is the CT06, this is the 5, right? Yeah, this is the 5, 
This is the six. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about this one has a problem. No matter what battery I put in the right hand side, we get nothing. We look at that. So it's working for the double A's, but it wouldn't work for the 18650s. Interesting. All right. Let's try the other one, the CT06. Same thing. And I switched the batteries around. Now it's not making any, whoa, not making any contact at all. All right, how about if I put the, the triple A's in here? Yeah, it likes those. Let's see about the 2032s. I don't know about that. It's a sloppy fit, but they are working. All right, we'll let these things charge up, and uh, we'll come back later and, and try them out. All right. So for you, the blink of an eye, for me, it's been three and a half days because I had to charge all these and then discharge them and then recharge them to get where we're going. Now, when we first started, we talked about these two chargers and how this one wouldn't charge anything at all over here. Well, it's simply... A placement thing if I just get it in the right spot it picks right up so that being said let's start with these these are 2800 milliamp hour reputedly uh, 18650s at 3.7 volts and I've marked them X and Y here You can see there. And like I said, I fully discharge them. Well, I discharge them down to the point where the 18650 discharger says they're fully discharged. And recharge them. And out of these 2800s, I got 2812 and 2809. So that's pretty nice. If you're curious, this is the uh, discharger I used. And it can cycle between milliwatt hours, milliamp hours. You know, you can adjust it. So, very nice. So, the uh, CR250R, or CR250R, no, it's not a Honda. The LAR2032 is still in their charging. Um, I have no way to really test these except to use them, so they seem to work. All right. So, now, they sent me two each. Of these uh, CT Energy 1200 milliamp hour triple A's and 3000 or, or milliwatt hour uh, double A's. Now, currently, Blake is testing the double A's in his Xbox controller, so we will come back to that later. But when we did test them out, we got 19 19.997. At 1.5 volts, same here. At 1.5 volts, and uh, I have a calculator here. 
Let's see. Where are we at? 1997. That gives us 2995.5. 2995.5. And what's the other one? 1995. Nineteen ninety five. 2992.5. 2992.5. So they're obviously not lying about their capacities. Next we have these uh the triple A's that go here. These are the ICR03 cells that need to be put into a charger. They don't have the built-in charging. And again, these are at 1.5 volts each. So Got 800 for one of them. Well, that's right on. That's 1,200 milliwatt hours. What was the other one? 778. That gives us 1167. I have no problem with these numbers. Um, generally, lithium batteries, after you cycle them a few times, uh, do better. So next we're up to these triple A's here. And these are the ones, as you can see, they have their own uh, built-in charger port. And it come, they come with a little octopus cable. My only gripe with these is the cables can be difficult to push in. Just because the connector is almost as wide as the top of the battery. So if you're off by just a little bit, it doesn't want to go in. You've got to be parallel and perpendicular, my friends. Parallel and perpendicular. <laughs> so these are all 1.5 volts as well. 1,000 milliwatt hours is what they advertise. So let's go 665. That's 997.5. And what's the lowest one? 650. That's 975. And the highest is what? 671. That's 1005. See, that one's a little higher. And well, I might as well put in 666 as well, right? The number of the beast. That comes out at 999. So, yeah, the capacities are all great. Last up are these double A's that have the uh, the built-in charger jacks. And since the uh, these uh, micro USBs are not as large as the whole thing, these tend to go in a lot easier. So these are all at 1.5 volts as well. So 2,000 gives us 3,000. Not great. Um, what's the highest one? 2110. 31.65. So there's your lowest. There's your highest. They're not really uh, getting too close to that 3,500, but again, with lithium batteries, you charge them a few times, and, uh, you know, things seem to go great. The, uh, these 18650s, just, they feel light, but like I said, they took, you know, they took the right charge, no problem. Let's give them a try here. We'll put them in the, uh, Super powerful laser machine, huh? I might have put this in backwards. Nope, it's right. There we go. Yeah, we're great. So that's cool. So that is all this good stuff from... CT Energy. These chargers are pretty nice. Like I said, you got to be careful about your placement. If you don't get the uh, 
you don't get those batteries lined up just right. See, that one's going good. This one's not registering. There we go. I mean, it ain't great, but, you know, it's there, so... Cool, these are nice little chargers. No, they don't uh, give you the capacity. I got the capacity by using uh, my little testers. Hang on, I'll show you one. All right, so that's everything from the CT Energy Hall. Nice little selection of batteries. They don't, you know, over-advertise themselves like a lot of these companies do, so that's pretty nice. I will uh, put a link to them down below, and uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. A little different than we normally do. This is just mostly some analysis work, but, you know, there you can get a, an idea of what it is. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.